G'day. Welcome back to the Misfits Show. My name's Fitz. This is the review. Yeep. Beep, beep, boop. I listen to this on loop. Thanks. I'm joined today by Toby. <laughs> Hi. Thank I you. That was a round of applause. Toby, why do you look so sad? Cheer <sighs> up. I haven't I'm got, here. I haven't had any Roblox pussy in weeks. I know the <clears> feeling, <throat> but you know what? What? Um... Try harder. Yeah. First of all, that's you're not putting enough effort in. I know. I and know. make I'm, sure I'm trying that you slip, slop, slap, and wrap that dick before you hit that Roblox pussy. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'll keep that in mind. In other news, Matt's here. Hi. Uh, and Swagger's here. And you know who else is here? Could you say something? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you? Swagger Soul's here. Nice, nice to fucking see you. Nice to be here. And guess who else is here, guys? Who's who? here? You're never gonna guess it. Hmm. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Box? This is gonna. Sh- this is gonna sh- how did you know? He's here. It's hey, Bucks. It's Bucks. Honestly, it's been a while since you've been on the show. Yeah. You Can you remember the last time you were on the show? I think I was leaking liquid out of my bottom. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. With, with swagger. I was thinking back Every to acid, but minutes. that's right. Yeah, For, that is yeah. true. For the food poisoning, yeah. that, was, that had happened with yeah, you. Yeah, that was great. That yeah. I love coming here. It's, he's, there's always something <laughs> magical that happens. You're back in Melbourne. <laughs> what happened this time, Box? What yeah. happened this time? Has your experience been better than the last time? or? Yeah, it's been a little cold. <laughs> it's been a, just a little cold, okay. but it's been good. Okay. There's been no bad shits. I mean, I had something spicy the other night. Yo, we ordered a curry. Oh my that God, dude. That was fucked. a great idea. That was an amazing idea. Tell us about this curry. Got some lamb, Rogan Josh, and he got a... Rogan Josh. Yeah. Chicken tikka masala. That's my favorite podcast. <laughs> Shut the fuck yeah, up. Nice. And he got a, the fucking tiki tuku fucking tiki whatever tuku masala. Tuck. Big fan of that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was really spicy. And, uh, yeah, it was... Every hole in my body was steaming. Ooh. <laughs> steaming. We, we, I got the idea to buy the curry because I figured something spicy would make my body feel warm. Because for the last week, we haven't had gas at our house. We have no hot water and mm. no heating. That's why it's the middle of winter. Yeah, that sounds problematic. It's yeah, <laughs> it is. I've been bitching about it every single day. Yeah, uh, so you've just been living in a frozen Iceland. Hope that is the misfit. We house. have heating. Are you sure? It's, why is it fourteen degrees no, in our we, home? There's, there's no heating. There's no heating. My aircon works fine. <laughs> what? It's an aircon. Yeah, it's electric. You just got to yeah. turn it on. Aircon has doesn't make gas. Me? Yeah, yeah, the heating no, isn't no, no, gas no. powered. Yo, I don't know if I was just super high. I tried at least five times, six times. We tried, right? The, why? Why hasn't anyone switched the air, the fucking thermostat up? It don't. There's work. like five different thermostats. It don't work. <laughs> it, I swear to God, it doesn't work. It's just cold all the time. Nothing's changed. The Misfits house is still a disaster. Yes, still a complete I can another vouch. disaster. We still have no internet. Um, but <laughs> and now we have no gas. <laughs> Look, let's not begin complaining about the house infinitely. <laughs> we have. Two stories this week, more or less. Really? Which one do we talk about first? We, we had a lot of fun today. Talk about the night out. Let's go in order. Should we go in, in order? Let's go in order. Okay, let's talk about night the night out. out. That was good. Well, guys, yeah. let me tell you something. Fitz almost died. I didn't almost die. You, oh, you kind of did. Yeah. I almost died. <laughs> he practically <laughs> guys, what happened? <laughs> look, here's what happened. Because Swagger doesn't even know the full story, and Bucks doesn't either. either. Yeah, yeah. We had to stay back at the office to record some stuff. Mm, I mean, even Toby doesn't really know the full story of exactly what happened. I know um, what happened to Blue, and that's it. Okay, let me explain. We decided to go to dinner on Tuesday with a big group of people, about 15 people. Mm-hmm. 15 cunts. Go into a restaurant. So, for context, the same one we all got food poisoning <laughs> yes. at. Fuck that. Yes. This yes. place is cursed. Go. We're not going back there now. We, we went to the same restaurant that we got food poisoning in with earlier. Bucks. Say with bucks. Oh, wait, no, you weren't yeah. there. Right? Yeah. 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 For some reason, we felt compelled to go get a steak at this exact same place <laughs> and some evil. It's a, it's a nice restaurant. It's a nice restaurant, yeah. but whenever we go there, some evil shit happens. Whenever we go there mm-hmm. and Bucks is in town, some evil shit happens. Yeah. Because mm. I've been there like six times since we got food poisoning, had very pleasant experiences yeah. every time. Mm. This was a hellish <laughs> night for me. This was a hellish <laughs> night. Okay, so we're there. Actually, uh, important thing to mention is that my editor was in town. And um, my editor. And your editor. My editor's name is Finn. Uh, it was my first time meeting him in person. And uh, he was there with his girlfriend. And I was like, okay, let's get a dinner. Let's let's get you to meet the team, the boys, etc. Um, so we go to this restaurant. We're all on a long table. Things are going great. It's a pretty good start to the evening. And then after Ryan orders all the food like he normally does, he's like, hey, would you like to smoke? A joint or two before eating. 
I I I like second guess it real quick. I'm like, well, my editor's here and he doesn't he's a straight edge guy, like he doesn't drink or smoke, so maybe I should stay on his wavelength so that I'm not just like, you know, in a different state of mind than him so I can be a better host. And then I was like, but weed. <laughs> uh and I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I'll I'll smoke some. Thinking that it would be no big deal. And and this weed, uh, for context, was weed that we had been given by uh, some people that run a bong company, mm. and it was weed that was insanely high quality, apparently from America. Yeah, yeah well, I, I, it's funny. That it was we were walking around, and there was just a big fucking fat nug of weed. Oh yeah, on I was like, I was looking the at the cereal dispensers. dispensers. Yeah, I was so just it like, was sitting on top of the cereal dispensers. No, we it's like I went over to the cereal no, but, dispensers. No, and I was where, looking. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> One person told Anyways. about the cereal dispensers. Well, I was saying, I went over to the cereal dispensers. I joked, I'm like, yo, we should totally put like weed in these things. So we like turn it, weed will come out. Yeah. And then I looked huh. down at the bottom of the floor, and there's like this big ass nug that's like. You two found inches my nug? Like, it was like a little tree. Oh, that was your nug. That's my nug. Oh, we smoked your nug, by the way. Your you nug, have done that. Your nug almost there's killed some, uh, me. Yeah. Well, there's <laughs> some, some fucked up shit in that. Wait, what? He's joking. You're, you're kidding, He's right? He's joking. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fucking with the, <laughs> with the story. So anyways, we find this floor weed. We pick it up. I show this to Swags. We're looking at it, and there's like... You could see like the individual yeah, trichomes the, on it. It was like trichomes. it looked like a Christmas tree, just covered in like yeah, cobwebs. Yeah, you showed almost. it to me as well. It was really yeah, sparkly. I was like, "Fuck, then this I, is good." And, and then I think what you do, you yeah, rolled I, a couple of joints. Yeah, and I, I, w- I was at a point where I wasn't doing anything. I was waiting for everybody to leave so I could get started filming. And so I was like, "Oh, they got nothing fucking better to do. I'll fucking roll some joints." Mm. And so I started rolling. I, I rolled like three and a half, three and a half joints. One was like a little shooter. Yeah, and then. Uh, with the intention of having at least one of them for myself and Bucks. Mm-hmm. And Ryan yoinked them all and brought them to your dinner. And yes. I don't think he knew that that weed was the really strong weed because I just rolled it. No, he I, didn't. Yeah. He thought it None was the us normal did. weed. He thought it, yeah, he thought it was the, the normal shit, which was probably why you guys fucking went, and well, fucking freaked out. I mean, here's what happened. We, you know, we went outside and we smoked this floor weed. I was like, it'll be fine. I'll take a few puffs. Like, I'll be in a nice state of mind. I'll be able to enjoy my dinner, you know. On weed. Right. I'll be high. Uh, as soon as I sat back down inside, I knew that this was a mistake because... <laughs> Something was up. You shit. just tell. <laughs> Matt, you're on the same shit, right? Like, I was just like looking at you oh laughing for like God. a solid minute after smoking that. I knew because I could feel like fucked. my appetite was gone by the time I sat down and I actually felt nauseous. Like I felt like I might throw up and all of a sudden the seafood's being put in front of me like oysters and oh. stuff. And I'm just like, I, this is the last thing in the world I want to be around or I, I don't feel like this. Um... Uh, an important thing to mention before I continue is that I had been up since four in the morning for Minecraft Monday. We, mm-hmm. we uh, this is an event that occurs like in the afternoon in the U.S. So in Australia we have to wake up super early to to be there. Um, so I'd been super early. I'd streamed that day. Then we had recorded VR. It was just yeah. in general like a very like draining, exhausting day. And now I was like you know you know entertaining my my editor and other company and stuff. So you know this is a big day for me. I'm, I'm a pretty I'm a pretty laid back guy. You had like nothing to eat. I had nothing to eat. I was running on like way too much caffeine and not enough food. Um, And this weed just hit me some different type of way that I'd never experienced before. It was like probably the second highest I've ever been in my life. Second only to that thousand milligram Mm -hmm. edible Mm. in LA, which you were also there for. Yes. You are cursed, my friend. You are (laughs) cursed. Um, What can I say? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. And like I was just getting progressively more and more fucked and it's like a hellish bad trip. I'm looking at Ryan like, Ryan, this shit's really strong. I, I, I hope it doesn't get much worse than this. It was getting more worse <laughs> than that. Uh, and Ryan eventually looks at me. He's like, man, he's really not okay. Like, you want to go to the bathroom and, you know, splash some water on your face? And I'm like, I guess, but I don't know if I can stand up. But, you know, I try. I stand up. As soon as I get up, my vision starts, like, turning red and staticky and kind of, like, warping and going mm-hmm. black. It was very mm-hmm. – I've never experienced anything like this before. And I walk in a relatively straight line towards the bathroom. And then there's this corner with a wall, kind of a narrow co- uh, corridor. And as soon as I hit that, I, I remember just like kind of slumping up against the wall and like, you know, really being out of it. Uh, mm-hmm. And Ryan was behind me and he, you know, grabbed me and um, was like trying to talk to me. But at this point, I, I, I kind of lost like a minute of time. Like I don't actually know what happened. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Next thing I know, I'm on the ground on my back. And uh, this old man is holding my legs up you know in the air you know to try and get the blood from my legs into my head because he was a doctor like he was at a table with his wife they were both watching me they were directly across <laughs> from us yeah because i remember like when i was you know w- when i sat down I, I noticed them looking at me and i was like oh shit they know i'm high like and mm. they were kind of disapproving but in a way that was like very professional like oh this guy's this guy's not looking so good um and yeah next thing i know this old guy's holding my legs and he's 
he had like a German accent. He was talking to me. He's like, uh, are you okay, buddy? Are you, are you, are you right? I can't do a German accent. Right. right. Um, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck actually just happened? Like, holy shit. Ryan's like, dude, you passed out. Like, you completely, you completely fainted. Oh, my God. Um, and I'm just sitting there like, wow. Like, I was, I, you know, obviously not very with it at that point. Um, I was just kind of like drowsy. Eventually, the old guy passes my legs to my editor. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Bonding Thank, experience. Thankfully, this wasn't my like first time meeting them. I had dinner with his parents like on the weekend. It was a very ne- normal, so, uh, sober, <laughs> very pleasant conversation. This was the second interaction with me in real mm. life. Uh, and it was just so funny. He was like, you know, you know, whatever, man. Like, I guess <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> like, I, I saw this kind of thing coming. Um, but no, I was pretty embarrassed. And I mean, after I laid down on my back, the blood was back in my head. I immediately started feeling mm. better. And um, I was able to kind of stand up slowly and... Um, go out for some air, drink some water. And, you know, I was filled with adrenaline because this was a kind of scary mm-hmm. experience. Sure. Um, and also I was still high as fuck off this crazy demon weed. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, I don't know. It was blacked a, out. I blacked out. Yeah. And you know, it's, yep. uh, it's just, happened to me. Just goes to show and you like, the thing is the same thing that happened to you happened to Toby's yeah, editor. Wh- yeah. While yeah. all yeah. of this was happening, I, I walked outside. I like that before Fitz that started feeling that I went outside and I was just getting some air for myself. And as I was walking out, there was like a, a little, like there was like three of the people that re- like the restaurant staff standing around this guy sitting on a chair. And one of the guys goes, Oh, is, is this your friend? And I look over and I'm like, Nope, <laughs> I keep walking. And after like five minutes of me standing out there, I looked over and I realized, Oh wait, no, that is my friend. <laughs> I just genuinely didn't realize it was blue. Uh, blue, my editor. So I went over and I was like, yeah, sh- sh- that is my friend. I didn't realize. <laughs> and uh, so Blue had experienced the exact same thing as Fitz. Mm. And he had passed out. He passed out in front of a waitress. And then the waitress came and said, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I'm fine. And then he passed out again. Oh, wow. Oh, twice. Um, yeah. So the doctor, the, the, the German guy was walking between... Um, was walking between Fitz and Blue. Very nice And at guy. the time, I had no idea that it had also happened to Fitz. So we were like freaking out and blue didn't know either and we're all like what the fuck is wrong with him mm. and then when the german guy said i'll go and check on the other one again we we're like oh wait it happened to someone else and yeah. then fitz came out and blue said that as soon as he saw fitz come out with the same mm-hmm. symptoms he said like all of his anxiety was gone because it was yeah. like at least oh, it's, it's a weird not thing. some weird thing yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I was yeah. freaking out at the table because I was still stoned and I heard you passed out and then Blue passed out. I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. am I next? Is it something <laughs> well, I ate? Is that weed going to kill me? Yeah, because like, despite all this happening, we were all just high as mother- <laughs> these motherfuckers at the same time. Like, So it's like 10 times worse. Yeah, than like that. you were feeling the effects of this weed. Yeah. Like, obviously not to the ex- uh, extent that me and Blue were, but what Blue mentioned to me today was that he was also extremely sleep deprived and had Yeah, he was him very sleep deprived oh, and morning. hadn't eaten it as well. Exactly. So it's like, yeah. I, you know, um, my editor's girlfriend's a nurse. She said it was... You know, it could very likely be like a blood sugar thing or something like blood that. Blood pressure. But blood pressure, rather, yeah. Well, was there alcohol um, involved as well? I had like half an espresso martini, which has caffeine in it, um, yeah. which was probably Dude, not good. The thing. I blacked out before, mm. and mm. it was alcohol and weed like mixed over, but it was a pen. Really? Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But yeah, my, my vision just slowly, my eyes are wide open. Yeah. Mm. But my vision is just like one shade of sunglasses at a time. It just tunnels. It gets really? darker yeah. and darker and darker. It's scary. And then, like you're out and then you're like super nauseous. It was so, it was so scary. It was like real peak anxiety. Yeah. It really like, uh, I don't know. I feel, I did feel stupid for smoking. You know, I, I probably should have just taken it easy that night. goes to show you that like, you know, it pays to be careful about these things. Even mm-hmm. if it's weed, which is relatively harmless. Like you can yeah. still have bad sure. experiences from time to time. Yeah. It just depends, you know, don't smoke weed if you're sleep deprived mm. and as well as having caffeine and not eating and, Martinis. Yeah. and drinking alcohol. Yeah, no, you know, I should have. There's, there's a method to it, but then again, you didn't know that it was, what, like floor weed from <laughs> L.A. Demon weed, dude. Yeah. Because everyone was, else, the yeah. entire the rest of the night was just like, dude, this weed's fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me and, me and, me and, me yeah, and Fox, freaking out. I had five hits and he had maybe three. I had like two or three. Mm. We were retarded, man. It yeah. was, yeah. It was, what, was it sativa? Because it felt very yes. ahead, right? Yeah, it, it was yeah, all it was. in my head. It was very, like, very, wow. very, yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Crazy. I don't yeah. want to have that kind of weed again. At least, you, at least you've recovered. Oh, you know? Yeah, so. I mean, at least I didn't hit my head or something, you know. Mm-hmm. That could have happened on the way down. But no, I mean, I, I felt pretty shattered the next day. 
but uh yeah you know. i when i heard that you fainted i was where i was like oh shit he could have fucking hurt himself yeah, falling from that height i didn't actually like fall because ryan caught me right. thankfully but yeah, yeah. you're right yeah, i could have you could you know you're falling from fucking you know eight feet up <laughs> you fucking hurt yourself is that why you wear the helmet just in case you fall yeah no oh. i uh <laughs> I, I ended up taking Blue back to the office, and then I told uh -huh. Bucks yeah. and Swagger what happened, and, and we were just sitting there and Talking like for it. ages, being like, you know, uh, I hope it didn't happen to everyone else and, and all this stuff, because you know, you guys were gone for like probably three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you're probably mm. still there. By the time mm -hmm. Toby got back with Blue, you were there for another hour and a half, mm. hour forty five. It was yeah. still a good night at the end. Yeah. I feel like yeah. It did once turn I around. once I came down a bit, I just got to like a point where of high that I would normally be at. And then uh -huh. I was I was still a bit shaken up and, mm -hmm. and cold. I was kind of shivery, but, you know, the food came out. I got some food in me, and I enjoyed the conversation. And, you know, it was just you, weird. It was just a in, weird night. Interesting question. Do you think it has anything to do with being in public? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, it was a very mm. crowded, yeah. uh, intense it's place. It's probably it's only ever happened to me once, and it was at a restaurant as well. Mm. I feel so like maybe. I, yeah, actually, I feel like I probably. Yeah. I was thinking when I was high, I was like, man, this would be okay if I was alone. Yeah, like right. the or, or like anxiety. Couch. Mm -hmm. But yeah. but like this is like there's waiters moving around me. There's lights like so much going on. Yeah, it was very like. Was your heart beating quickly before you passed out? Yeah, they, they both had high high heart so. rates. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, they almost called ambulances for us. They were. They like, did just, call ambulances. Yeah, they did. They canceled. They canceled them. So like, I mean. Thank God that guy was there. I mean, I think I would have been fine either way, but he was very like kind to do that. Yeah, the guy the who German looked after guy. me. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and his wife German as well. Doctor. Yeah, I think he, they were both doctors. And hey. They were very pleasant people. Yeah. Shout out Germany. He came up to me and he goes, <laughs> he goes, because uh, he was asking Blues, like, have you taken anything? And yeah. he was like, yeah, I smoked weed and I've had alcohol. And then the German guy looks at me and he's like, you don't look like you do it. You, do, you don't look like you drink or smoke weed. Mm. And I was like, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. And he was like, all right, I want you to make sure that he doesn't do any more yeah. uh, over the next few days. Yeah. He was like, just water for you tonight. I was like, thank you, sir. Thank you. I, w I will. <laughs> and yeah, I just drank water. So that was a night, you know, it was an experience. The next day was, you know, I just kind of took, took it easy more or less. I actually streamed the next morning and used up all of my energy doing that. And then I just crashed. But. Yep. I'm here now. I'm rejuvenated, and we You're have alive. our we have our, our lovely guest, little guest. Bucks. Yeah, I'm here. And <laughs> the next, I'm, here. Uh, I'm going home tomorrow, but I'm here now. You're here yeah, now. It's <laughs> fucking crazy, man. You've been here as long as I've been here. Yeah. We came back from LA. Remember when I when I landed, and then I hit you up, and I go, "Hey, I'm 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 here. I'm gonna drive to your house in an Uber." And you're we've like, been, "Oh, yeah, yeah." Let's, we've been it, together for a bit. Yeah, dude. Like we've been here like, like two, two three weeks. weeks. Yeah. Fucking hell. Hey, gonna miss each other. Yeah, I think so, dude. I, I really think so. He, is that he, where the ring come from? He's the Wait, only what? he's the only one that can married? keep up oh, with me. Yeah, Fuck when yeah. we were in L.A., when we were in L.A., we were like, we were really bad influences on each other because <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if, if other. I'd wake up first, I'd take my shower, then he would wake up, and then I would sit down on the couch watching PewDiePie play Minecraft, and I'd go, "Hey, Bucks, I'm like, hey, <laughs> yeah. want to smoke some weed?" He'd be like. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then, you know, the next day, I'll be sitting down doing whatever. He'll come out and be like, hey, Swags. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> you want to smoke some weed? You'll want to smoke yeah, I like how little preamble there is. There's no, like, tricking each other. It's just like, hey. No, we, we, uh, we, we know. We know. We know. We know. Like, like, we knew it was coming, we like, looked. 30 minutes before. <laughs> we like, during the shower, I'm like, I know what's coming. Mm. Yeah. You had your weed cycle dude, synced up. <laughs> <laughs> we, those bird scooters were fucking fun oh as hell, dude. God. We got stoned so much and just went on those fucking scooters in LA and zipped around. We went all the way up the Hollywood Hills. Yeah, For anyone, yeah we went to Boa, bro. Yeah. Or, or Tau. Ta Which one no. was it? We Boa. To, it was Boa. We Boa. Went to Boa. Oh, no, yeah. We, yeah, went, from, we went from like Hollywood all the way to quite far west it Hollywood. was it was like so an, an hour way. it was yeah. an hour an hour straight it's high as shit on these bikes yeah. that's Almost. the second so time they're, they're basically they're electric scooter scooters for anyone at home that you <laughs> you download an app and you can you scan it and it unlocks the scooter and then you pay for however long you use it, wait, you you nearly died. I almost died. You nearly died. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's with all the near death experiences? Yeah, wait, Toby was I, almost, there for that. I almost died on the scooter. We just gotten out of a Korean barbecue place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it was really good, really fun. Ryan was zipping around on a fucking bird scooter while we were waiting for the Uber. I got on the scooter and I rode down the block and I was riding back up the street to them. And as I'm riding, you know, I'm going pretty reasonably quick, maybe like. 15 miles an hour, something like that, mm -hmm. just zipping up the hill. And, like, this 
Korean barbecue place was in like kind of a it's like it's like you had to turn in that you like go into square. a driveway yeah. and yeah. it was a little square. So kind like of thing. yeah, there was like this fucking driveway, and so I'm zipping past it. And this fucking guy is flooring it from the driveway onto the street, mm-hmm. and so he gets right close to me. I think I was maybe like six inches away from getting hit, but I had to turn and I hopped off and then I grabbed the scooter. The guy fucking laid on his horn, and then I was like, "Jesus, I almost died." He and it. Swagger goes, wow. "Swagger goes, mad. fuck me." And I think the guy yeah. thought that Swagger said, "Fuck you" to the guy. Yeah, and he goes, so then the guy instantly got angry because he seemed pretty like, like the guy didn't seem like he was angry with Swagger until Swagger said, "Fuck I, me." I, I, well, yeah, yeah. I, I go, <laughs> I, I just go, I just go, "Fuck me," and the guy goes, "Fuck you," <laughs> and I was yeah, like, like oh, "Wow, yeah, I know, I know, man, I, I know, I fucked up, but hey, mm. I'm not dead." And neither neither is your car. Mm. You gotta get a tighter balaclava, by the way. You're you're putting this up to your nose like every other minute. <laughs> can can did someone get me? You look fi- it looks fine, by the way. It Mitchell. really does. It looks fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about <laughs> can it. You it. Give me a, can you give me some black <laughs> masking tape? It's like some black <laughs> fucking tape. Uh, audio listeners, let me fill you in. Swagger's mask is slipping down, and he does not want to reveal his nose at the same time. You know, he's uh no nose reveal today. It's a little nose shy. Big it's a little nose shy. Big nose puss nose. man. Big puss puss. He's got a really gross nose. He doesn't want anyone to see it. Thick yeah, flappy it pussy. And Mitch was coming with masking tape oh, just Mitch to stick BP. it to his, his <laughs> gross oh, that's nose. A, that's a, that's a that's lot a of tape size. right there. Wow. Just, just, just slap it. <laughs> oh my just slide God. it right on there. There you go. <laughs> wow. Oh, by the way, guys. Um, brought to you today by <laughs> Drop.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's why well, before so, we get to the next story, let's do the ad. Basically, um, How do I look? when we, we <laughs> you look great, Swagger. Thank you. Basically, yeah, as cute, you guys sweetie. know, uh, we have just moved into a brand new office, which means you know it was it's an empty space that needed some filling, mm. and luckily the people over at Drop.com, previously known as Mass Drop, Mass Drop. Uh, they came in and said, "Hey, we'll kit you out." So they've sent us a fuck ton of ultra wide monitors, a bunch of keyboards, oh, the keyboards are so nice. Headphones. I want one of those keyboards. They sent us some little audio interfaces and stuff this it's all been really cool i actually really love the keyboard they sent it's like a like a, a really small super minimal keyboard with a metal back back plate and there's just something so satisfying about how simple it is yet how high quality it feels is that the one with ten, the rgb lighting yeah. Is usb yeah, yeah. I, I reviewed that on my channel yeah yeah the keys board, feel really like so good nice dude really it. nice drop.com has a lot of dope products it's, it's a really like easy way to sh- shop for like lots of dope tech the concept and- the concept of it is um, basically the drop.com is about uh, like almost like wholesale stuff. So the the idea is they have certain milestones and it's like, all right, if 10 people buy it, it's this price. Mm-hmm. But if 50 people buy it, we can get it a little cheaper because we're buying it straight from the manufacturer. So the concept is that the more people buy it, the cheaper the product is. So you mm-hmm. basically Smart. pledge, say you're going to buy it. And then, um, and then it, the price goes down the more people that do that. It's a really cool idea. Yeah, it's a dope site. You guys, check out drop.com. Thank you Drop. guys Com. for Thank providing you with us with some epic gear. Let's talk about what happened today. All right. What happened today? Golf. This is another book oh, to a movie you will see later on on the Misfits channel. Yep. We're get, we made a video today, basically, and we all, I mean, as we said earlier, we decided to play golf. Would you, you believe it? Did we it? actually yeah. play golf? Kind well, of. I think I hit you know, the no. I think, I think oh, we hit maybe. it in the hole once or twice. We, we did not we play played golf. golf. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, surely. We, we whacked the balls an insurmountable distance, and, and we did like maybe three drives, and then we grabbed more balls, Went we <laughs> drove the fucking golf cart over to the green, mm. threw the balls down, and then tried to putt them. Yeah. And we didn't we, really We, we were just golf. fucking around. <laughs> really. If, if anything, we were on the golf carts. It was, yeah. just, a, it was just golf carts. Yeah. We were just hooning on golf carts and then playing Hooning. some <laughs> golf in between just was, to break it, was, it up a bit. It was fun, man. I recommend it. Golf is shit and boring. <laughs> Don't recommend it. You're going to ruin I all these golf, golf courses. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's talk about how it started. I mean, we, we all had these wacky outfits picked out for oh, golf. Gosh. Um I had this, you know, basically old man pants and a polo and a hat. Yeah. You know, we Ryan went and everything. Ryan went, went and bought kits for everyone. Mm. And uh, we, I mean, we've been planning on doing this video for ages, so we've had all these clothes Months. for a really long time. And uh, we all put them on today, and everyone had their own little golf outfits. We look good. <laughs> <laughs> we look, we look so funny. Looks like actual golfers. Swag looks so funny with his shirt tucked in with a helmet on on his, on his little belt hilarious. golf cart. Yeah. The visor on my helmet too. Amazing. There's gonna be some yeah. fantastic little memes in this and this American <laughs> little clips and gifts and shit. We um we pull up to this golf club, which was actually surprisingly busy for uh you know for mid, a mid afternoon on a Thursday. Oh, it's just like the worst weather too. It was just like overcast, yeah. cold, it was so middle of winter. Cold and I had shorts and a fucking short sleeve you were polo. Cold. 
I don't even oh, want yeah. to talk about mine. Yeah. Dude, we're skinny boys. <laughs> we're cold. Yeah, Fuck my outfit. What were you, at, what were you wearing? <laughs> All right, so I was wearing these uh, blue shorts yeah. with a, a really, really... A fluoro pink. Really small, <laughs> cute... Delicate... Like what is it? Like Sexy. a woman's pl- it was, it was a woman's, a a woman's a sleeveless it's like polo. A yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, golf. Like yeah, it, it was it was a vest that I think you would wear over something. Yes, and you just wore it over your torso. But he didn't yeah. wear it. Yeah, nothing under my me. my nips were. <laughs> I could see your nips at oh, some point in the video, just like mm. popping through <laughs> that thing, man. And you had this lovely red hat on as well. You just look like a ray of Looks sunshine. Looks like Mary Poppins. I with actually, the hat. I actually felt pretty. I don't know. I don't. I've never worn a tank top before. So you my feel first, like my first like, you would time suit tank tops is a is a woman's golf polo i reckon you could pull yeah. off a cool tank top i think i could yeah maybe yeah you could definitely pull off this one today to the gym you know <laughs> start buffing up how how did you find golf today um well i mean i actually nearly died i don't no, no one actually saw it you nearly I died think, i think you're just cursed everyone, everyone nearly, nearly dies died. when they're around no, no, you no. Mate. did you so i was driving for the for the most part mm-hmm. and then uh jordan Ryan's friend, who was there also helping mm-hmm. out, mm. he got pretty high. You know when we did the bit with the, the right, right, right. So he finished that J, and wow. he was like, "Hey man, can I drive?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, right. "Yeah, sure." Famous Whatever. last words. Like, just go for it, go for it. Thinking like it's gonna be fine, but fuck, like he went straight into a tree. Like it was, it was. We were oh my like, god! Yeah, we were chasing. We were out like away from you guys, and he was chasing Ryan and Sam. And right, right up behind him, and he just like I don't know. I thought he would have put the brakes on. He didn't. He just went straight into a tree. Wow! The, don't the front smoke of the and thing. drive. Don't the, operate any heavy machinery no, dude, and I or was, motor vehicles under the influence of THC. I mean, these were this book is a golf cart. You know, this wasn't on the road yes, into a break no of a real tree. There's, there's, I, there's no seatbelt, so I I knew I saw it was gonna happen. He just didn't didn't put his foot on the brakes. I don't know if it was just like did it damage the car. It, no. the, the front was a little bit cracked, mm, uh, okay. but like I straight up, <laughs> I thought I was going to go straight into the tree. Mm. Honestly, wow. it's actually kind of like scary. We were shaken yeah. up by that. Yeah. I was like, fuck, like no one even <laughs> saw that. Like, Aside from that, how was your day? Other than that, yeah, it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> Normal size, I but mean, overall, good It's day. just so funny that we pull up and like, you know, I, it looked like we dressed how we would expect old people to dress. But in reality, all the old people just looked infinitely cooler than us. They would just been like <laughs> typical like sports, like slim, black, I mean, uh, you know, we're trying to fit in. It's like, hey, see you on the range. Today. We <laughs> looked like just fl- a fluorescent <laughs> glow of a group just w- yeah. coursing through this golf course. It was like we were role playing as boomers. Yeah, pretty much. Like, Yeah, some of us. I think they must have thought we were like a bachelor party or something like that. Yeah. In, in <laughs> costumes, like just goofing off. Yeah. But um, yeah, we had like how many, like six golf carts between five. us all? Yeah, five. five. Yeah. 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 I, l- I already lost driving privilege. Like right. two minutes into it, Matt, like, Ryan's right like, "You're down. You're yeah, done with Ryan driving." Ryan got pissed. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. basically, we were trying to uh, not cause a scene because we didn't want to get kicked off the golf course. We had to film the whole video. We didn't want to, you know, ruin it. So everyone was like, "All right, you know, at the very start when we're near the entrance to the golf course where all the people are, first second hole, we we just stay casual." Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So Matt fucking drifts it around the corners <laughs> and and slams on the brakes everywhere. Making the biggest mess out of the gravel. Mm. <laughs> and Ryan comes over wagging his finger like, Matt, you've lost driving privileges. You will not drive anymore <laughs> today. He's very upset. No. And we drove again. I mean, we just didn't Spot want to get kicked off the field <laughs> yeah. before we got any content. We had to, yeah. we had to play yeah. cool like first. Yeah. But I mean, it was great. We, we all teed up at the <laughs> first hole. Most of us missed our first, uh, <laughs> our first shot or we hit it like off into the trees. We were just clueless, man. It, golf was, was, it was a good time, man. I don't know if I could ever get into golf as a sport. My I, dad consistently tries to go like, hey, son, let's play some golf. And I'd be like, ah, no, nah, nah, I don't want to. Let's <laughs> no. go fi- I go fishing with him, mm. but not golf, dude. Golf is just boring. It's like a businessman game. I don't know. I've played it seriously. It is fun, but it's so frustrating. It is mm. so hard. And like, mm-hmm. there's a lot of walking to get your ball if you fuck up. So you really pay for your mistakes and stuff like that. Yeah, so well, like, I'm not I, I like a driving range, you know, just sitting yeah, there. Oh, yeah, that'd be if fun I can to sit do. there it's and a lot of fun. It, sure. A lot of fun. Mm. But yeah, golf is a, it's an experience. It's a long game. It's a long game. Yeah. You play it out. It's a long game game it's like four hours i don't think we bunch. even completed a single hole I don't <laughs> we didn't really no. try to yeah. though to be no. fair no we just missed a bunch of shots and then drove we were yeah. like golf cart time <laughs> like the fun part <laughs> driving around 
we got like so much b-roll cinematic footage of oh, us just like carding around and uh, oh my god banging into each other and getting up to all kinds oh, of shenanigans dude. i feel almost like we got more b-roll than we actually got dude, to remember golf concert yeah. ryan got stuck in the sand trap that was flooded and i had to, <laughs> oh, i had to my drive god. my car into the sand trap to and i had to slam into the back of his car and then floor it because mine was gas powered and his was electric mm. so i was able to push him out of the pit Risk Dude. potentially getting your stuck too in there. Dude, I'm not <laughs> I actually think yours What's worse than getting stuck one stuck in a sand trap Jordan, too? If it wasn't for Jordan, he came up behind you. I actually think he would have got stuck. He gave you, you think oh. so? Yeah, he gave you a push. I you didn't probably feel see it. in the footage. Someone earlier in the day was like to me, there are security cameras around, like we should be careful. I don't know who said it. I like, even was it Chris? I don't even know if it was true or not. But like the entire time since he said that, I was like, we're going to get kicked out. Like this is yeah. crazy shit. Like, I'm so surprised. We can't get away with doing this on a golf course. Yeah, they're not going to have the security cameras like all the way further down out in the green and shit, know. are they? Yeah, how often they, they like get they could, with like a wildlife tree. fucking cameras no, but like ha- shit? I mean, like, like it's just it's to check because <laughs> you must get groups like us from time to time yeah. that come and just hoon around on the golf carts and make, yeah. a, make a scene, you know? You know, I don't think we yeah, were. Yeah, they had like the fucking price list on the golf cart posted on the mm. window for like each individual part, how much it cost to yeah. replace. <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't really damage anything. Uh, no. We were careful. Right. We were, I mean, we were considerate-ish, you know. <laughs> we were we were relatively, you know, we drove it through like tree, like low hanging tree branches and shit. Like yeah. nothing that would actually damage the car. Yeah. We didn't attempt to roll it we didn't like crash into each other on purpose yeah um, and we stayed and out of other people's ways as well oh yeah we know? we were very if we were fucking around at a at a hole and i think there was a guy waiting uh to do it and we were like fuck it fuck this hole we'll just we'll just go to the next, one. To the next one yeah we didn't you want know? to fuck up anyone's day no no but needless to say we had a lot of um at one point um we reached this kind of like embankment, this little hill. Oh my god! And it was so oh. muddy that the wheels just were spinning and just like spraying breathe, mud dude. everywhere. I still have some. I was, mud I was in a car with helmet. Ryan. You were laughing. I couldn't. I was it in a was... car with Ryan, and we just, we just couldn't get up this hill. <laughs> yeah. Over and even we tried three times. We had a massive run up, <laughs> and every time we'd make it near to the top, and then we just like stool and then start going sideways yeah and just drift back down fitz yeah. and i basically something was happening that they, 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 like everyone was being really loud or something so fitz and i were just like let's drive away <laughs> so we just drove to the next <laughs> hole and that was the hole that had just the mud and we just pull up the wheels just start spinning uh-huh. and i was spraying and i was like this is kind of funny i wish we had a camera here then ryan pulls up and ryan being <laughs> ryan's like i want to try so he just intentionally beached himself and was also doing it mm. and, and then the golf get, carts were stuck for a good while yeah, yeah and that, covered in mud yeah, yeah that's yeah. when the mud happened mm. yeah i got sprayed with mud as they were mm. trying to fucking go up the hill and so i was covered and mitchell uh, had, had the camera and he was pointing and laughing at me so i was like oh here here and i was trying to wipe it on him and he was backing up he was like no no get away and then he slips on the mud and fucking falls in it in like the most comedic way too he is like it was fucking did great that <laughs> did we catch it on camera from his POV from his POV and whoa, whoa. someone else was that, so good you guys just talked all of the, that, it was like a tsunami of words did you hear oh that oh my god that <laughs> is gold like watch that back it, I got a perfect view on it it was just like oh you got so it so like slapstick it's like, like, yeah. you know, like slip, old timey slip, films boom. and, right and he was holding a camera as well right so yeah it got muddy Man, there were some good bits. There's, there were some very good bits. It was just such a silly day. I'm just concerned that there's not enough golfing. Oh, Who that cares? doesn't matter. Who cares? People don't care about the golf. There were so many bits like where we were just talking to each other, like doing characters in the golf yeah. carts. And, you know, I had these like gold chains. The, the, my favorite part about what this video is going to be is like every, after every hit, whether it was a good <laughs> hit or it was off to the side <laughs> or it was like just hit the turf. Everyone just clapped. So, uh, so, <laughs> so like you see this complete fuck up and then you all you hear is like applause <laughs> like it's a real golf tournament. It killed me every time. It's it killed li- me every time. It's a literal laugh track. Dude, the bomb. So yeah, I mean that's that's been our day. We're all we're all a bit sore, a little yeah. exhausted. Did anything else happen on the course that I'm forgetting? I mean, I, I we probably shouldn't spoil the entire yeah, video. Yeah, we can't. It was it was a, it was a good bit of fun. Yeah. It was a good blast. Oh, a goofy day. Me and uh me and Ryan. Well, it was actually Ryan. I don't know if Matt realized, but mm. you know when we T barred you when we we're all oh yeah along, we like spun out. Ryan just like grabbed the steering wheel and we were like side by side, me and Ryan, and it was just you're on your own, yeah. You? And then Ryan just grabs the steering wheel, he just pulls. And it he was in the passenger down, seat, right? You were driving straight into Matt, and Matt just <laughs> that sounds like a Ryan thing. It was a little like, around, and I was it, like, whoa! It, it looked like gonna, um, like, roll it looked over. like some shit from Mario Kart. We had yes. like hit the banana and spin out. I was like, oh, you bitch. <laughs> What, so so Ryan pulls your steering wheel and you turn into Matt's car. Yeah, yeah. So you, you remember it was back all wheels, four of so us. Oh. Formation. It was God. like it was like GTA when you want to like 
it, it, when you're in a racing game and you want to, yeah, yeah. It's a miracle we didn't bust those cars more, man. Like, it's a miracle we didn't bust them up. They were covered in mud, but we cleaned them before we gave them back. You know, we got the water and we wiped did, them did down. Did you hand them back in okay? Because we did. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they were, were good. They, they were fine. They were good. Yeah, we took care of it. That's fine. <laughs> I don't think that... Uh, Hope I, they don't watch the video. I, th- I feel like they might watch the video and uh, then we might get in trouble with the place. Life. I think that we might end up with our photos on the wall being like, do not let these guys enter the park again. <laughs> it's fine. I hate golf. It's okay. We'll do bowls next time or some other old man <laughs> game. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Bingo night. You know, Bingo night. Bingo. You know what we should all do? Play ice hockey. We should all get... Get up. Fuck oh, oh, yes. ice hockey. I love no. ice skating. I can't do it. Yeah. I can't or, ice skate. You'll be goalie. You'll be fine. <laughs> or we should do um, curling. You ever done curling? What's the that? Canadian sport with the brooms and the ice? Oh, Never yeah. Never done that's, it. But, that's actually a lot of fun. I don't yeah. want to go out onto an ice rink. I would break my ankles. <laughs> Let's all go ice skating. Yeah, that's tomorrow. We'll get, you the, yes. we'll get you the four you know, the ice skates with like two on each foot. So it's like super stable. Or we'll get you one of the bars that you can hold and skate Get like an old man rocker or some shit. Have you ever been on ice before? No, really? oh, it's, it's actually so much fun. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I've gone, I've gone roller skating. It's like the same thing, pretty much. How about you just sit on the machine? You know, the machine that goes around. Like, what does it do? The zamboni oh, that the like zamboni. cleans the ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that just like smooths the ice out for people. Yeah, let's hire out a, an ice skating rink and convince them to let you do the zamboni. <laughs> That would be the video. Have you ever been um like uh, skiing or snowboarding? You have no, no. What? Really? What? Mm. That's nope. insane. Never have. We we want to do like I've gone sledding. Yeah, but that not, doesn't count. Yeah. Not snowboarding. <laughs> we, and yeah. Definitely not skiing. I like to ski. We should do a misfit snow trip sometime. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Go out to the mountains. You are. I keep forgetting you can do that here in Australia in mm. some of the mountains you can. in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds weird, but I guess there are snowy mountains here. There mm. are back in New Zealand. I know. Snowy mountains everywhere, really. Yeah. What you, you know what else we were gonna do this week? What? But didn't happen because of uh, time and things. Hmm. Acid. Ah. Uh, <laughs> we were considering it. We were considering doing a reunion for the uh, for the it's annual. Like, yeah, one year anniversary. Fuck right? yeah! It has almost been a year now. It's been almost uh, a year. Stay another day. Come Surely. on. Man. Stay another day. I, I you, know, you know me. I generally would. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you I'm gotta moving. move. I'm I'm landing yeah, like the same day go. that I'm moving. My uh, moving yeah. day is tomorrow. When do, oh. be, <laughs> when do you think you'll be back in Oz? I guess you can't say. Packs. Um. Totally packs. Yeah, packs. Hundred percent packs. Yeah, hundred percent packs. I was thinking of coming sooner. I mean, packs. I mean, isn't Ryan that wanted me away. to be here for his birthday, but it's August. Pretty soon. I am back in London for a few weeks next month. So right. Oh well. Oh well. That's okay. <laughs> I'll be here for packs. I'll come for a longer period of time. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll be good. I say Dude. this every time. God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, packs well, is gonna, gonna be terrible though, again. because we moved into the Misfits house. Just off the PAX last year, which means mm. this year PAX is going to be uh, fuck. We got to find a place to live. Yeah, you're going to be in my situation. <laughs> for you guys, for you we, guys. we could e. extend the lease. I don't or want Or we to. all get our own place. I think we're, we're, we'll all get our own place. We got the office yeah. now. For, mm. for, yeah, the for office. We work yes. together. True. The office is the new hub, really. Yep. Misfits House is now just this cold, desolate, <laughs> freezing <laughs> Iceland. Yeah, like, I, come, I come back and I'm just like, yeah. The fuck Same happened? for me. <laughs> I come, I come back and I'm like, okay. No hot water. It's really <laughs> cold. Uh, it's fucking empty. We have a big fucking eagle that doesn't have <laughs> oh, its yeah, wings in it. We have a place. That's right. I told in Ryan. House. I told that. Ryan. I said you're not allowed to put Barry in our house. So when we're in LA, he organized to put Barry in our house. For people who aren't <laughs> informed about Barry, Barry is this ridiculous wooden eagle made out of driftwood uh, that Ryan bought in Bali last year when I was with him, mm-hmm. and uh, it is massive. It is the biggest eagle I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty huge. It's huge, and it doesn't even have the wings on at Misfits House. Mm-hmm. It's just this big statue. Yep, we need to get that shit sorted out. Cause I'm tired yeah, we need to get those of, wings on. Stuff. Tired of fucking hitting my ankles and the goddamn wings. Yeah, I'm trying I did to that walk, this get Uber Eats. <laughs> you did that this morning. Yeah, it's still uh, It's fucking annoying. Misfits House is just an absolute hazard. Yeah, it's, it always oh. has been, but now it's especially just. It's just draining without hot water. <laughs> I mean, you know? the, the house is is so desolate right now. I don't even have a PC set up there. Like the podcast is like gone. There now. There's a lot of stuff it's gone. Better. Yeah, all I really use the Misfits House for now is sleep and jacking off. And jacking mm, off. Master. It's gotten to the point where my laptop, I don't even go into private browsing anymore. I just fucking. <laughs> wow. It's just like. You just leave it unlocked. You're like, hey, no one's going to see like, it. It's just like, I don't really give a shit if people go on my laptop and find out what porn I watch. Who cares? Absolute rebellion. 
Good enough. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty bad. Like, we, what we what did we do the other night? We had to link my laptop. Up oh to my the TV. god! Oh, we wanted to oh, yeah, watch. We dead. wanted to watch like super bad or something. Uh, yeah. It were Pineapple Express. Can I just say? Which, which I just, just want to have this glory in saying that Swagger Souls had never seen super bad. Or like, Pineapple really? Express. Pineapple. I Isn't haven't seen insane? either either. Isn't that insane? Night, but, yeah. And you're yes. a stoner. And you hadn't seen either of the most iconic stoner oh. movies. Yeah. So I think it's a poser. Funny. I watched Super Bad again recently. It still holds up. And it's it's still great. I'm very interested in films and movie and television, but I don't consume nearly enough of it, I think. Uh, I mean. Like, I haven't seen, like, many of the classics or, you know, any of the cult hits or yeah. any feel, of that mm -hmm. shit. I, I didn't watch a Tarantino movie until I was, like, 15. Who's Tarantino? Yeah. 15, 16. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> I, uh, I felt the same way in university, and then I like made a big list of things I should watch, and I gradually kind of tackled it. But Yeah, I need to get a fucking girlfriend who's a big movie nerd or something. And just, <laughs> you know, every, Netflix and chill every night. Mm. I mean, know? would you really watch the movie, though? Would you have no, kinky helmet sex? <laughs> kinky helmet sex, for sure. Not a boy. <laughs> what do you think of Superbad? Uh, we only got halfway through it before yeah, I, we left before I said before it. Before you unboxed Netflix and chilled. Yeah, yeah, we just dipped to bed. Yeah. Oh, is that why you guys were like so surprised <laughs> when I got back? You're like, oh, hey, Matt, what's up? Hey. I think yeah. I had gone to bed before you came back. What were you even doing? Why were you gone? You were at Ryan's, weren't you? I don't remember. Who knows? <laughs> to be honest, did if I don't remember, I was probably stoned at Ryan's, so probably you, stoned at Ryan's. Did you watch all of Pineapple Express? Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of that? I liked it. I thought it was an okay movie. I feel like it doesn't live up to the yeah, hype. I'm not a big fan of Pineapple Express. What's I think even it's the plot shit. line of it? I, I just think weed. it's just it's just a funny weed. stoner uh, movie. Well, we yeah. were we just fucking smoked weed and watched. And hey, we yeah, if, like, you're, hey. if you're high, it yeah. Would well, oh, yeah, 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 it, yeah. that's just the humor. It's like, ah, uh, dude, like, I relate. Uh, <laughs> I'm so high right now. This movie is literally big. Tropical Thunder, bro. Tropic Thunder is the same. It's like one of those movies that is would be fucking hilarious uh -huh. high, but it's pretty shit when you're not. Nah, high. it's great. Tropic Thunder is a classic. Just yeah. the I haven't seen it. <laughs> I still have to see it. Really? Oh, you, ha you really haven't movie seen night. anything. Have you seen, I Fight, know, right? have you seen Fight Club? No. What? what? Never seen it You've never seen Fight Club? Oh no. We're American. You have to remember, we're uncultured. We haven't seen all these things. Oh, what do you mean? These what are do you guys American do? movies. <laughs> these are American films. I played, video I played Minecraft for like six years straight and did nothing else. Wow. Whenever I would have friends Back over, which would be like every weekend when I was younger, it was just like everyone would come over, would all, would watch movies all night, watch like five movies, mm. and then do the same thing next the next weekend. So I've seen so much shit. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I never watched movies with friends. Whenever I went to a friend's house as a kid, it was always to play GTA 5 or, yeah. uh, or actually earlier GTAs late at night in the dark. Ooh. With Vice Cities. Mm. Vice City. Medal of Honor, split screen. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the good old days. I remember. Little Moffat too. Bugs, what is your favorite movie? I know it's a hard question for some people. You see, I'm, I'm really into films. Really? I used to watch films like every night. Mm. Usually like one. I used to work my ass off during the day. And then I'd chill at night, watch a film, and I'd usually watch films. I don't know why they would like motivate me in some yeah. area. I don't really know. If it's like a rom com, I'd get all, all up in my feels, mm. and I'd be like a bit more. I don't know. I used films to motivate me a lot when I was a when I was a kid, when I was younger. Yeah. And I don't know. Favorite film? It depends. Genre. Give me a genre. Um, science uh, fiction. Science fiction. Science fiction. That a big you, know I, I, you know the one. Honestly, probably. The original Alien. Okay. Really? Yeah. Scary. I'd go. Yeah. I mean, I studied it at, at college. Oh. It was great. Mm. We also studied Fight Club. Fight Club mm. is generically my favorite film. I'd say. Yeah. Really? It's such a cop out it's, answer, it's, though. No, no, I go, no, no, I go no. Interstellar, like, man. Interstellar is a oh, great movie. Oh, this is, this is the problem. There's so time. many good yeah. films. No, it's an odd time. time. Asking someone like, their favorite movie is an unfair question. You know, yeah. like, most people have just a bunch in different genres. Mm -hmm. but. Uh -huh. But yeah, dude, films. Oh my god! Is there any film in particular that's just really impressed you with like how good it was? Something um, that was like, wow, that was actually fucking just insanely good to see, or better than you thought. It there would is, be. there is definitely one. I'm trying to think. Like, I mean, Interstellar for sure was probably the one that'd be most blown away simply just because of how spectacular it was at yeah. the time when it came out. Mm. And it's all it was like based in science think, and reality. Yeah, mm. epic. Pretty mind blowing. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Science. Science dude. rules. I just like I remember going to see it and then I'd come home and I would like fucking YouTube the tidal wave scene. The, mm. the yes. planet that they go and oh see. I was God. just shocked. Yeah. I was in the theater. I was what just a like, scene. Wow. It's, it's Hans Zimmer, Insane. bro. It's fucking Hans Zimmer. That was yeah. that was mountains that played. Mm. Those aren't mountains. And then the fucking choir and yeah. the, the, and the, the, the whole the kind of ticking sound like that yeah. goes yeah. throughout it. Oh my god. You, um, you know, 
the the fun fact about that track, the ticking, the t- 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 is mm-hmm. like every second. So what what was it like every minute there? Or no, was I think it was like, every day on Earth that passed was a tick uh, or a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. every no, it year was a week. Just, it was like a week, something like that. It was a week per tick, right? So it was literally time slipping through their fingertips. Yeah, because like. they were they were you know on a planet orb- orbiting a supermassive black hole, and mm. because of the time dilation, because of the gravity, the gravity it was yeah. making. That's right. I'm know, pretty was, sure oh it, was, it was relativity. It was eight days on Earth per one hour on that. Planet. No, like, no, not an no, hour, not second. Eight days, right? It was eight, like second. Eight years, wasn't it? Needless to say, like eight years. It was eight years an hour. I think it was eight years. Somewhere, somewhere around I th- that. I don't yeah. think the specifics matter. What mattered is that like these people had <laughs> children back home that were yeah, now they, older they, than yeah, them. Yeah. 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 That, that, fuck, that was emotional. Up. That fucked me up. Yeah. Oh, dude. When he's seeing the um, when he's the looking at his, his children's video messages, like, Dad, I don't even. I, you're probably not even alive at this point. And he's watching it. It's like, oh my fucking god. Oh yeah. He's getting older and older. Good film. Um, Wolf of Wall Street. Yes, mm, actually, brilliant, film. Classic. brilliant yes. film. Hilarious. You Hilarious. know, you know, the actual Wolf of Wall, Wolf of Wall Street moved to Australia and started scamming the government. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What a so, fucking legend. so <laughs> what, does he, what does he do these days? Is he not just? That's he does what he does these days. So the Australian like, government has this scheme where. Um, basically farmers can be re- re-educated. So the Australian government will send out people to, you know, rural farmers and make sure that they still understand how to use all their equipment and stuff. Okay. And then if they don't know, then they, the Australian government pays these people to go and help them uh, and assess them to make sure that they can actually continue doing it. So okay. the Wolf of Wall Street guy was like, yeah, I'll do that. And he just faked it. So he was just wow. taking paychecks from the government. Oh my God. And he, he had this huge company doing it as well. So it was, <laughs> there was a 60 Minutes thing about it, and it was like, it's all technically legal, but, nah, man, he but very frowned upon. He found a loophole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't think he had a hard enough time in prison. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> not. How long that. did he go to prison for? Uh, I don't think it was, it was not like a year. No. A year? It was a, f- a couple years, I think. That's it. A year is not long enough to teach someone who made millions and millions of dollars that yeah. what it they were doing. It just teaches you also, that it's like, that's the only punishment you're going to get yeah, if you do that big exactly. of a fuck up. It's like, I'm pretty fuck, sure he lost, why stop now? He you lost know? all of it, no? All of his money. Yeah, he would have. Yeah. yeah. When you're living that kind of life, it's got to catch up to you, right? No one, yeah. no one lives like that and gets away with it and is happy in their old age. Or maybe he is. Pretty. Maybe he's just... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Jordan happy Belfort. now that Quaaludes no longer exist. Quaaludes? What the fuck are Quaaludes? I forget. I think it was like for the, like insomnia or yeah, something like that. Yeah. It was prescribed like yeah. way back then. But it's kind of fucked up, right? They're, yeah. like, they're like a... Um, it's just... They use it to drug people. Aren't they a disassociative drug? Where it kind of makes you like a little I wacky. Think so, yeah. yes. Didn't Bill Cosby use Quaaludes? Who the fuck didn't use Quaaludes? Am I right? You did. No, uh, yes, he done. did. He, uh, he also... Uh, <laughs> Uh, raped woman uh. with the quaaludes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not how it's going. Like with the cla- the quaaludes? No, no, uh, no, 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 no. Put he it did in. not use the quaaludes. <laughs> put it uh, in the for that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Bill Cosby, I was watching the uh, I was watching comedians in cars getting coffee. So There's was like I. A new season of it yeah. or whatever. And was I think Cosby on it. He was. I wish. I think he was with Seth Rogen. I think it was the really? Seth, Seth Rogen episode. Rogen. And they're they're talking about um, when they like. A time that they, that Seth Rogen first met Bill Cosby or something, and at the time, uh, you know, Jerry and Seth were talking about like how he's such this like this incredible uh, comedic mind, mm. and then apparently they were hanging out with someone else. I can't remember who it was. Oh, it was the guy Hannibal from. Um, oh, yeah. Hannibal Buress. Oh, yeah. yeah, that guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> they were talking to Hannibal about uh, Bill Cosby, and apparently Hannibal just goes, "Yeah." It's a shame he rapes heaps of people. And Seth and Jerry are just like, what? And he's like, yeah, Wait, Bill, the, Bill Cosby just drugs just and here? rapes a Wait, bunch of people. This was back in the day, like back so in... This was, this was like six months before it all came out. Oh. Holy oh. shit. Because apparently what happened was Bill Cosby started making jokes about raping women. And then As everyone was do, like, actually, you know. yeah, no, he does that. <laughs> this isn't a joke. Jeez. Which, ah, good bit. You're so good. Which is funny because isn't that what um, ah, the dude with the goatee, the, the ginger dude, Oh, Louis C.K. Uh, Louis yeah, C.K. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't he also making jokes about what he was doing to women? Kind really? of. Was I it mean, like right w- before it came out? Or? I mean, Louis's humor was all sexual. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. well, not all, but like a lot of it was very like is what, based in. Is what Louis did really that bad? <laughs> he asked for permission. He said, you know, he was like, "Could I jack off for you?" And they said, "Yeah, sure." They probably thought it was it. him doing a bit, and you're like, "Oh, it's actually know. not a bit." <laughs> yeah, I'm like slightly ill-informed. I feel like it was bad enough. It what? I mean, maybe not for the extent of like how ostracized he became but like 
It, he was in the wrong for sure, I think. Mm. But then again, I don't really know that much about it. It was a long it's, time ago. It's just yeah, he's a, he's a little freak. I mean, a when little, you and when you're baby. a celebrity, who isn't swagger? You get away with a lot, you know. <laughs> when you're a celebrity and in a position of power, I mean, like, oh, so easy. There's so much that you can get permission <laughs> to do. Fuck <laughs> yeah, this fucking guy. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I do not do that kind of stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> What the fuck, Fitz? <laughs> what? I don't even know what you said, but I'm assuming the worst. I really didn't say anything. I just made a stupid joke. I see. Have you... But the best part is, Toby, it will not come back to bite me. <laughs> 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 we don't have HR yet. And no, we don't. Good. No, we're Man, fine. working here is great. <laughs> we're fine. What about you, Bucks? You kinky? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty kinky right now, actually. Ooh. No, mm. I'm not. No, no you're not. You're straight I was going to say, what are your thoughts on uh, Michael Jackson? Oh boy, no comment. Is that, that he's, he's got okay music? Netflix. Yeah, his, uh, his stuff's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a bit overrated. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, I passed. Uh, I was in Vegas recently, and I went past the one of the store. I can't remember where I was in the Venetian. He used to go in there all the time and just what's that? Just buy a bunch of shit. The Venetian's it's a hotel, a huge hotel in Vegas. Mm -hmm. On the it's like one of the casino ones, or yeah, they're and, all um, casino there's ones. This, there's this like shop there that sells really expensive like furniture ornaments gold a lot of gold and you used to just walk in and be like mm -hmm. that one yeah <laughs> that one really that i remember one, i remember that seeing one. that somewhere there was, <laughs> that one is there we like a clip there? <laughs> <laughs> there was some documentary that showed his his life before all that yeah, shit happened really? and it was like uh -huh. it was insane you know, it's he, like he would just walk into stores have yeah, a bunch crazy. of a huge entourage yeah. and you just point at shit and then it would because <sighs> I feel like, like after a certain point, like the lifestyle he has being like the number one person at the time in the media and the most iconic name, like household name ever. It's like, yeah, how I mean, do you not have a lifestyle at that point, like that? Like, at that point, you got to fuck that, some kids, that's right? Like, that's what else is fun? <laughs> what else are you going to get when you just point at everything you want and have it? What else I mean, is there? You, would have, you have to have extremely <laughs> strong self-control. I want you, I want you, and I want you. And character to like live that kind of life and not fucking lose yourself in it, mm -hmm. you know? Like you're yeah. swimming in it. You're swimming in everyone's like... You know, feel like you're the best of all time. Yeah. You're the king yeah. of pop. You're the greatest. Just, just constant yes men around you. Oh my god, yeah, that'd be unbelievable. Not to say that like if he did anything that it's justified. You mm -hmm. know, like Jesus no. Christ. But it's just you know when you when you go from nothing to something that that is huge and something that is you know like you know iconic and you become an icon and something bigger than yourself. Mm. That, that's that's when shit gets really trippy yeah. and that's usually when people start to go off the deep end. Yeah, and when people start to you know develop you know fucking mental illness yeah well and you're on the pedestal and it's like to other people a you lot can do of no pressure. wrong it's mm -hmm. a lot of fucking pressure jesus christ but yeah i mean i watched that um documentary it's weird man like i i don't know what to think it's probably true right like probably i still haven't seen the documentary yet so it doesn't I matter he's fucking dead i saw yeah. half of it i was pretty baked i was <laughs> curious <laughs> at what you guys i don't thought. give a shit i never had <laughs> yeah. a fucking opinion on michael jackson i really didn't care he's yeah. dead mm. do you like his music yeah it's okay i don't Did mind it, touch it. You? no okay <laughs> <laughs> he touched me here right here you know my you heart know, guys yeah, audio listeners yeah, that, my that, heart that was the pun that was the pun <laughs> you know how he had a chimpanzee Really? As like his butler, right? Was, at the oh, Pet Neverland butler, Ranch, ranch. Pet. he oh, had like what? a chimpanzee that what lived with him, right? But, um, <laughs> but, you know, a chimpanzee is a chimpanzee, mm. which means that eventually it got to the point where they were like, this cannot be in the house anymore. This thing is out of hand. They eventually just had to put the chimpanzee that had lived in the house its whole life in yeah. a cage. Yeah. And apparently th no one was allowed to go near it because it was insane. Really? Like, really aggressive. If you went Fuck. near it, it would just like, you know, it would go crazy. Rip your tongue out. Hey, you see that. the thing? Fucking rip your face rip off! Your entire Fucking crazy face. man! You Dude, see those things? I would <laughs> love, I would love to have like a baby chimp, and just have be like my buddy for like a couple of years, and just. And then you know, just leave him have, somewhere have and some abandon him. chimp adventures, you just, man. You just want to smoke weed with a baby chimp. Dude, not <laughs> yeah. a baby chimp. I'd wait till he's at least like at least in 18 chimp years. He can make his own no, informed decision. No, 18 in yeah. chimp years. Like maybe one. That's like seven, seven it's or like eight. seven minutes, he, yeah. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of owning exotic pets, right? Uh, back in like the 80s or something, there was this family of celebrities who... Uh, who you know, I forget how old you are sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they bought a, a, some lion cubs and they wanted to bring up these lion cubs. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the entire family, that they had kids and stuff, they just loved them and they would sleep with these like, lions oh, and so stuff cute. and they grew up. It's, it's and they were great. They, you know, the lions didn't really hurt them unless mm -hmm. it was like accidental or anything. <laughs> I and just accidentally spit but, Timmy's head off. Oh, no. <laughs> but like the, the, these, this family kind of like... Got fell so in love with mm -hmm. these animals that they decided they wanted to make a movie about it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And um, Life of so so the the dad was like <laughs> Bruce Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> the dad no goes, Keith. I want to make a movie where it's just this guy and his family comes to visit him, and it turns out he's living with a hundred lions. A hundred, right? 100. So what he does is he um Maybe he no. just over a few years started adopting a bunch of lions and built this entire resort. So he actually got like to a real hundred lions. He had 150 Bruh. exotic animals, uh, like 90% of which were lions and tigers. Oh my. Right? Bruh. So these were untrained oh lions and tigers that just lived with this dude. And he, he just started filming a movie where he got a bunch of camera people in and mm-hmm. they just started filming this movie around these actual insanely dangerous animals. Yeah. And uh, like his, his daughter, his whole family was acting in it. His daughter, at one point, they were shooting a scene, and uh, a lion was like hugging her, but like, like playfully. Apparently, it was actually like it didn't seem aggressive mm-hmm. at all. And when it went to get up, it like scratched her whole face off, Ooh. and she had to like get surgery. <gasps> and she got the surgery to fix her face yeah. and came back to filming. And then it gets ripped off again. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, thank God. But these people were insane, and they made this whole movie. Apparently, it's a terrible movie too. But just around 150. Yeah, you can't save face after that crashes and shit. That's insane. God. <laughs> People were so crazy back then. Yeah, that's that's insane. Cocaine's a hell of a drug, dude. <laughs> dude. Good old oh, 80s. Shout out. I wonder how different our culture today would be if it wasn't for cocaine back in the 80s. Like so much crazy shit happened. So much, so much American innovation <laughs> because of cocaine. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Mexico. I guess. Jesus. Shout out, Pablo. Appreciated. Yeah. What's your favorite show of all time? You like TV show. or just Ooh. movies? Um, I mean, better be the one I'm thinking of. You mean like like Netflix? Like any any, like any show. television? Any? Like, do you have you know? Surely, surely I mean, the I'm, big I'm one. I'm from the UK, so like it's pretty traditional. Anyone that's watching that's from the UK, in between us. Uh, wow. here we go. He's been trying to in get me to watch in between us the entire fucking time that he's been here, and I'm I just can't like, believe it's. I don't know. It's like if, if I was to say, if I was to try and describe what my time was like at secondary school. Yeah. Which is kind of like high school. I, I went see to that. An, I went to an all boys secondary mm. school. <laughs> Fag. <laughs> that's like this is what i mean like i was no it was it was the common insult to be like huh gay or yeah. like you're gay or you're I, a fag or i went like, to all boys schools uh, uh, did, yeah. for three years yeah so like in that time and the in between is, is essentially it is just that if it aired today it, it wouldn't be allowed there's really? no way yeah it's, it's pretty out there i it's feel like, like that's partly why you would like it because you can relate to it because i yes. have tried watching in between this multiple times and found it very boring every is it time. just uh-huh. like the comedy style from like the different countries it's maybe very it's mm. so english it's it very so, dry, so, yeah. so dry english. Humor? It's, dry. it's like it's quite sarcastic as well sarcastic i, I, humor. I like english humor. It, it just english humor yeah. I really like English. But, um, I love English like talk shows and stuff. I yeah. mean, not talk uh-huh. shows. Panel like, shows. Panel shows. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I've never. Like I can never get behind. Yeah. Wait, love to- Toby, can you believe this guy? He's from the UK and he doesn't say Top Gear is his favorite show. What the fuck? <laughs> you, your favorite show is Top Gear, Matt? Uh, no, probably Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> surprising. Yeah. Uh, Breaking Bad is a great show. I think I've it's the best it. one to date. Never really? seen Breaking Bad. Uh, arguably Neither. the best very, TV show in very history. Very good television. Okay, show. so this is I'm 10. like I'm trying to catch up. So recently I've been watching Game of Thrones. Shut uh, just, just fuck fuck up. Give up. Give up. Give up. Breaking Bad all the way. Just, just fuck it. Yeah, fuck I, I mean I made it. I made it through six seasons. Okay, well I'm fair enough. You're at a good there. stopping point. I'm almost there. <laughs> nah, fair <laughs> enough. Still never seen it. Just finish it. But I mean, even just trying to catch up on that is just like so. I don't know how many hours. I mean, you used to watch a movie every night. So yeah, this is when I was like 15, jacking off every night. Uh, but like, <laughs> oh, shut up. But yeah. now, like, I don't know. I just don't find the time to just be because I like to binge. Uh, like, Stranger Things, j- straight yep. binge. Really? Yeah, binge. I can only do like I one a night or something like that. Like, just yeah. a no, I can't. Bed. I'm, I'm a suck. Like, I'm so, like, when's yeah, the next one? Is, I've just, I'm I just like, all, all nine yeah. episodes, shooters, bro. I yeah, I end, cannot like, do just an episode before bed. Really? If I watch an episode before bed, I'll watch fucking five yeah, episodes I'll be up before bed. Yeah, I'll 6 a.m. You know, like the I can't the next control one. myself. Mm. I need that dopamine. Give me that next I mean, my favorite show is Mad Men. I've, I'm currently on like my third time rewatching that show, and there's so many things that I've missed in my other two times watching it. I've like, you know, I'm talking like two years in between mm-hmm. rewatching. Um, it's a really like slow paced and like pensive show, so mm-hmm. I can kind of watch one episode and then. Is it like a leave comedy? It. No, it's a, it, you don't know anything about it. No, never heard uh, of it. It's, it's kind of a drama. Is it, is it There's like a, a little bit of comedy in it, but it's more drama. Is it like it's, a New Zealand thing? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, buddy. <laughs> it's one of the best shows of all time. It's based in the uh, in 1960s America. It's like it's hard to explain, but it's a very like drama, character driven show. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's I mean, if you what like, is, what is it on? Uh, Netflix. Netflix. 
Ooh. Yeah, Netflix. I would recommend it's, it. It is a really good show. How many, I'm, how I've many actually seasons? thought about rewatching it's it. It's like seven seasons. It's, oh, it, oh, fuck. It, it is a slow <laughs> show, though. It's not like Game of Thrones where like there's action. It's all conversations and character building. And man, you see these like characters just change so much over seven seasons. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That's my show. Call Check me a it boomer. Out. It's kind of a boomer show, but it's fun. It's kind I'm, of more a boomer. Awesome. I'm more of a boomer than you, right? Yeah, you're actually, old. Yeah. 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 You're Am I the oldest here? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mad Men, what's cool about Mad Men is it's one of those shows that like makes a certain career path look fucking awesome. Like how, <laughs> like how Suits made the... Uh, Suits is insanely unrealistic, but makes lawyering look so sick. Yeah. Mm. Breaking Mad Bad Men's makes meth cooking better look calls, sick. Better Call yes. Saul makes being a lawyer look fucking awesome. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Well, Jimmy has the, the most awful. shit time being <laughs> a lawyer. What are yeah, you talking about? Yeah, but it looks so, much, it looks like so much fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, like after watching Wolf of Wall Street, I was fucking obsessed with stocks in training oh, yeah. for like a solid like year i was like trying to look into it and get into it just because of the film i'm mm. gonna be the next warren buffett oh look i have no more money <laughs> <laughs> i'm the kind of person that i'll watch a movie uh based around like a, a, a certain career path and i'll just be obsessed with it and mm -hmm. i'm like it's kind of why Ooh. i like live out those fantasies you know well i mean do you remember when you were a kid and you would go and see cars you know the movie cars yeah. mm -hmm. cars and afterwards you get out of the theater Maybe you're walking back to the car with your mom or your dad, and you're just like, "Broom, I'm a motherfucking car." You know what I I'll mean? I'll be a like, car when I You grow get up. out of the movie and you just want to be yeah. in the movie. Like you yes. want to be in the world. You watch James Bond, something you're a secret yeah. agent. Fast you know? and Furious. Watch John yeah. Wick yeah. going around, cinema, fucking like, beating up guys. That's yeah. me. I still get that as an adult. Like it yeah. rubs off on me. Like mm. characters influence me. They influence oh. how I act. Like yeah, man. It's, uh, I remember when I, I I played the entire Red Dead Two, and I was very much like, "Ooh, I like being a cowboy." Is that when yeah, you started you wearing that own, stupid like, hat? You had like your own fucking like walk cycle and everything. It was like the Red yeah, Dead dude, guy I, too. I had, I had like I, I had like a walk cycle. I was uh. just playing that shit completely zoinked for like the uh, two weeks straight. Yeah, you just started playing that game at like yeah. Ryan's place. Mm -hmm. That's I, all we did. I watched him play that game, and yeah. he just played it for it like was, two weeks dude, straight. It was so fun, and I, it was just like everything I was doing was just like. Red Dead related mm. or I'd watch Game of Thrones and I'd just fucking be brushing my teeth or something in the mirror and then I just you know man I really want to pillage somewhere I do improvise voice lines like or, or quotes from the show in an accent to see if I could do it right you know you just want to you just want to insert yourself in the world yeah you give us a demonstration uh -huh. of those voice lines fuck you you stupid cunt okay well, wow I, I mean feel genuinely that was, that was the hound when, okay. when, when that guy took his chicken and then he killed like five people. Right on. Oh, spoilers! Yeah. I never got to that I, part. I never got into Red Dead. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's uh, same. Really? Like the the uh, the tutorial same. mountain was just so slow, and I was like, oh my god! Like I don't know. I mean, oh. I know I know it opens up after that. I did get to the camp. I did try like the open world stuff, but it was just. Mm. I feel like it was almost so vast that I just couldn't. I, I mm. just got stressed with the possibilities. You just. You just Swagger, I just I don't think I'm as into the setting either. I don't really give a fuck about cowboys. It's, Western Dude, settings I have always been yeah. very. It's cool. like you know that show Westworld. Yeah, yeah. So yeah like you probably sick. you love it, right? I love you the love shit Red out of Dead. Westworld. It makes sense. Yeah, it's never. You, have you seen Westworld? Uh, I've seen some. It didn't really get me that well. Uh -huh. Dude, I'm just, kind of similar. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess it's because you guys are you, you guys aren't fucking Americans. They're boomers so too. You don't yeah. really yeah, 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 like. Yeah, yeah. You don't vibe Pretty with that ancient. cowboy culture because you you don't know you don't know what that shit is. I guess it's too foreign to you. Yeah. Not you know, really. With the, with the guns. Well, I don't really, I mean, yeah. it's, I don't it's really like it either. I mean, yeah. It's part of us as, as you. It's like you've yeah. experienced cowboy culture. <laughs> but I guess it is embedded in your country's history. Mm -hmm. So that's that's fair enough if you you know care about history or whatever. If you're a nerd. <laughs> nerd. Nerd. <laughs> loser. Fucking nerd. But, <laughs> like, I mean, I think it's always just been cool to, like, you know, you, you see someone in a movie or in a TV show that you, like, really like or there's some, like, specific part of their personality that you're like, that's fucking sick. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, I, I kind of adopt yeah. that, you know? Even if they're really flawed mm -hmm. characters that have, like, yeah. terrible yeah. problems and they, like, you know, always lashing out at people or whatever. You're like, oh, fuck, that guy's so cool. I want to be like him. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, freaking bad. You know, I'm the one who knocks. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah. I get, Tread lightly. You should cosplay as him. You'd, you'd do it great. Walter White. I, yeah. My first uh, watch of Breaking Bad, I like really liked Walt and I disliked Skyler. My second rewatch, I fucking was like, man, Walt is actually kind of a, like a massive <laughs> cunt, dude. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. This is kind of crazy. Not to spoil anything. Uh, it's been out for like 10 good. years now. We should be good. Yeah, we're fine. It's interesting that you spoil it. You, seem to, do it. you seem to frequently rewatch shit. I really, um, I don't know, man. I'm particular. I, there's, I mean, Breaking Bad's a great show, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm an old man. I'm I'm 22. I've been around the block a few times. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> How old are you again? You're 25. 24. 24. 24. 23. 22. Yeah. 
You, re you rewatched but, a lot of that? Uh, yeah. But like I rewatched I watched Breaking Bad when I was like 17. And then when I'm 21, I'm like, yeah, man, I'd be able that's to appreciate fair. this more now. And I did. I really enjoyed it. I actually forgot a lot about it as well. Um, and Mad Men is just fucking a, a piece of art as far as I'm concerned. So I'll go back and watch fucking Gossip Girl and Suits. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's like a teleportation device back to like this... Mm time when you were engrossed in this universe I feel like you get a bit of nostalgia too if you rewatched it it's been yeah. a few years exactly and there's two movies that i rewatch as well what are those lost in translation and her mm. those are like two like really beautiful films in my opinion. have you seen them no wow neither her lost in cool. translation is good it's like interesting. so how do you say like boring but it's like not boring it's just like it's just subtle good. and bittersweet i don't know how to describe it's it subtle it's like because i like subtle things where it's very much about like what genre it's um, it's like a love drama, I guess. It's kind of like Ooh. romantic, but um, it's more, it's more just about people. I'm really mm -hmm. fascinated romance. by how people work, and I think that's why those movies get to me. Because like, I love romantic films. You know? I'm a sucker for. Romantic I love films. romantic films too. I love it. What's your favorite rom com or 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 romantic Ooh. film? Crazy stupid love. Crazy stupid love. No, I like uh, I like it more more comedy than just fully romantic. Yeah. Although every now and then I'll be like, you know what. I'm gonna sub you. Get yeah, full like, sap mode. He showed me a Russell Brand film for the for the first yes. time. I've never seen a Forget Russell. I've never I was, seen, a, I've I never seen a Russell say. Brand film. What? But Swag has never seen anything. What is, what's Russell? Wait, what's the Russell Brand film? What's like a popular one? Forgetting of Sarah Marshall. Get him to the Greek. Forgetting Get him to Sarah Marshall. Marshall. They're actually linked. Those films. They yeah. use the same oh, sure. cast. Kind of. We're so what, uncultured. What did you, you think of your? <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was hilarious. Which one was it? Uh, for uh, Sarah Sarah Marshall. Marshall. Yeah, that forgetting Sarah Marshall is better than Get Him to the that's, Greek. It, that's probably that used to be my favorite film. Just R I could rewatch it so many times. It's a great film. Russell Brand is a character, man. I, I love yeah. just watching him on interviews and just how he interacts with people. He's oh, so uh -huh. like over the top and like flirtatious and witty. He's so quick. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so quick. I really admire people like Very that. Very commanding. Very commanding energy. I guess he's just confident. You know. Yeah, and that's mm. what it is. Oh yeah. He's confident, confident and he's got a sharp tongue like he knows what to say. He's done everything as well from films to stand up like he's walked yeah. the block. So screw box. Let's get Russell Brown on the show. Guys, yeah. here he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Imagine. He's English too. All right, we'll just swap over. We'll swap over. Easy. <laughs> box, how's your channel going? How's YouTube? How's how's life? Uh, Pretty well, actually. Yeah. What really is your channel, it. Box? Yeah, what plug, is my channel? Plug it real quick. Box. Wow. What's your second oh. channel? Box. Vlogs, <laughs> <laughs> incredible. <Bucks too. laughs> um, but no, yeah, I'm I'm actually loving YouTube quite a lot actually. Um, recently, I've kind of I kind of stuck a lot to these like smaller, no, like more more like spaced out bigger videos. Mm -hmm. But then I just get fucked in terms of like demonetization mm -hmm. to the point now where if I put all my time and effort into something that gets fully stripped. And I don't care about the money. Like, I really don't. Yeah. It's just the the impact it has on, like, the views and yeah, that always everything like me. that. So, I suppose like, it's just frustrating, too, you know, when you yeah, put in that so, work and then you just So now I'm kind of going back into, not like, day. I used to do daily, started off with daily, but now I'm kind of more like two or three a week. That's where I want to be. Yeah. And then, like, one great ass vlog or something like that a week is what I'm, Nice. This is what I'm aiming for. You'll nice. have a vlog or, or maybe even two coming oh, yeah, out I'll of this have, trip. I'll have a one one good big vlog from this trip, mm -hmm. um, and then I guess yeah, I don't, from, from this I'm relaunching the vlog channel. Very nice. cool. From yeah, because I stopped for a few months. Well, the last vlog you did with the us last was, vlog uh, was yeah, 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 yeah. It was post food poisoning. And yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That Man, just, I was in the thumbnail actually, and I just looked like fucking just completely. Hollow, yeah, <laughs> like we like an fucked. actual skeleton. You were you were yeah, fucking you... like malnourished, oh God, bro. Dude. You look I was fucked. fucked. I yeah, like, you look like fuck. you just see it like walk around. I, little I, skeleton man uh, with a gaunt face. I've said it before, but I I was up for like three days. You know, mm -hmm. like literally with maybe thirty minutes of sleep a night. Same. That and I'm sure you were as well. Yep. Like it was that was rough. That food poisoning that got us. And uh, just, it's insane how like how frequently you can go and shit. <laughs> I know. And there's, yeah, and there's still minutes. be shit. Yeah, like it's like you eat nothing, but it's still coming out. It's like I was shitting my insides out at, at yeah. one point. It's wild. When I think about that experience, I just really appreciate the fact that I'm healthy now. <laughs> you yes. know, like it's it's almost yeah, good you, that I have that perspective because I've never been that fucked up before. I mean, everyone uh -huh. lost a lot of weight, but I could I saw it in your your face. Mm. You like, were gone. Drawn in. Yeah, like, I get like, yeah, like the sunken eyes and everything. When I'm not healthy, and that was extremely unhealthy. Like you can really see it in my face. Yeah. It's just like you will. You guys will know if I'm ever addicted to meth or something. Like, so don't worry. Like, <laughs> guys, check my back thumbnail out. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and yeah, I mean, here you are again. Here I am again. 
And I went to the I'll same restaurant back. and I had a, a, another bad experience. So that's why we should I stayed stop here. going. Yeah. Why you should stop going. That place, is, place cursed. is cursed. Or is it or is Buck's cursed? I think Buck's got killed when you were with him in LA. It's it's, it's, it's the stars it's aligning, but I I don't I'm not trusting that place anymore. What are you saying? Well, you almost got killed with him on the scooter in L.A. I yeah, think, but I think that's Bucks irrelevant. That's just because I'm an idiot. Yeah. And you're high. I think mm -hmm. we're all Fuck. idiots. And weed is always well, involved somehow. <laughs> it's not yeah. only because you're an idiot. It's also because those scooters, it's like, you know, they're, they're kind of just, I don't really think they're a good thing to have in a city. <laughs> Pretty Especially a city where kinda, uh, weed is legal. Yeah. yeah. It's like oh, you yeah, ride the go, ride go smoke a sober. joint legally. Okay, go hop on a scooter for two bucks all day. All right. It's like they're fast enough that you shouldn't really be riding them on the footpath, but you ride them on the road in LA. It's so oh. fucking sketchy. Well, I'd say like you don't have a helmet one, or anything on them either, do no. you? No. no. Like Oof. one one in every ten people that uses them probably uses them correctly with a helmet. Yeah. And they use them to get to and they're from also places. A huge nerds. mess. Yeah, and then the other nine just get fucked up and then just go out and have fun. Yeah. And they just get left everywhere. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's the one thing I heard is like the scooters and like the rent of bikes in other cities will just like get trashed and just left on the sidewalk mm -hmm. anywhere. I love people. They're the best. Shout out people. <laughs> My little sister's friends, uh, <laughs> they used to go out in Auckland because they have limes in Auckland and they used to What's just that? collect oh, that's the limes of the electric scooters. Okay. They used to just collect them and throw them on top of shit. Yeah. So, did did so, you not see that truck? What a bunch of assholes. So, so like <laughs> with a lime, you look at the app, right? And it shows you where they are. So yeah. they would just get a bunch of them and throw them in places that people couldn't access them. So oh. they would look at the map and be like, oh, there's one over here. Go over there and it's like on top of a tree or <laughs> something. It's like Pokemon Go, but it's illegal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought you meant the people that gather them all up uh, and I mean, charge them. Yeah, I mean, mean... Bank. Yeah, you can... Really? Th that's yeah. how they charge them. So Lime and, and Bird and stuff, they don't charge them themselves. You become a person and you like you, you get hired by them and you just pick them up and charge them at home and then take them out again. Wow. Do people yeah. just get like truckloads of them? And I've seen people the like, one in using LA a scooter huge. and they have like five other scooters on the scooter and they're riding it and they're just putting them on. Really? Yeah, mm. it's, it's crazy. They make mm. a business there, out of there that? There was yeah. a truck mm. across when Swagonelli got <laughs> oh hit. God, there was a truck, truck was across the road from full. us. Had like a hundred of them in yes. it. It was insane. Hmm. God damn it. Yeah. He's well, making dough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> making a fucking right. bang. Down. There you go, guys. <laughs> Scooters, <laughs> weed, food poisoning, movies, fainting, movies, and of course, golf. Oh yeah, golf. Lovely. I can't wait for to see lovely. how this video turns out. Same. I'm Same. actually pretty excited for it. Uh, what if the audio's okay? It was pretty windy. Mm, oh God, it. don't say that. If not, it yeah, it was. <laughs> if it's not okay, we'll just not release a work. montage of just us yeah, hooting just about. Music over the top. It'll be fine. It'll be good footage. Are we ready to end it? I, I think like so. Yeah. It's about the you good? Oh, it started and stopped, but it's surely over. Do you anything want to bring up Swagger Bucks? Anyone? Hmm. Thank you again to Drop.com for yeah. uh, sponsoring the office <laughs> and supporting us. That was very kind of you guys. Thank you to our uh, beautiful employee of the month, Queen Molly. All right, hit on her harder swagger. <laughs> <laughs> she's under the age of 18. And now he's all bad. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, thank you very much to our supporters on Patreon and especially you, Queen Molly. Shout out. And thank you to you, Bucks, for coming on the show. Any we'll time. Thank you to Game of Subs. Any time. Make sure you check out. Yeah, I'll be yeah. back. Check out Bucks' channel on YouTube. Check out his vlog when he gets released. Hell yeah. He's, um, God, you're just a funny motherfucker, Bucks. You're and I love the shit out of you. Legend. I just like being funny. It's always good yeah, to hang out with you. Have anything you want to plug? Any social media? Um, I mean, I don't want to be a bitch. Do it. But, uh, do it if you want, man. Do it, bitch. bitch. Do it. Yeah. I mean, well, my socials are, are different to my YouTube. Oh, my God. This guy. Just okay. fucking say, say it. it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Ryan Hughes TV. There Twitter. Spell it. Instagram, do not spell Y A N H U G H E S T V. Use code Instagram, Misfits. Twitter, use code Misfits. <laughs> Bucks, Bucks Vlogs. Game of Subs. Go, let's GG. Go, let's go. Bye, bye, bye. Let's go. <laughs> Support. Peace out. Okay, peace out. <laughs> bye. Bye. <Yeah>. Thanks. <laughs>